Hey everybody, welcome back to another installment of Universe Jarvis. So for this week, this is actually number two technically, even though the other one I did on it might have been Saturday, last Saturday, Sunday, but anyhow. So I think I told everybody that I was going to try to do something a little bit new, and I kind of do a lot of shopping. <laughs> Surprise, right? So venturing into something new, something different, some new things. So you can see kind of some of this, the camera's up a little bit high so you can't see everything. But I did, made a decision to try out some of the things from North Face. I was actually gifted with a really nice North Face gift over Christmas. So I was like, you know, why not look at some of this stuff, give it a chance. Because like I told you guys in the previous video, and if you haven't watched it, go back and watch it. The quality of a brand that I love and that I have shared my passion for, I don't feel like it's where it was. So trying out some new things and you know what it's 2023 so why not try out something different and something new so let's go ahead and get right into this and I don't really know where I want to start honestly eh, maybe let's start with this one because this is the bigger one so big bag here and this is from TNF does anybody know what that is no the North Face which I just said so I guess I kind of already gave you guys a clue so let's go ahead and open this up and see what we can see okay 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 so this is the borealis tote and i really like the colorway on this and you can kind of see it through the bag i'll take it out you've got a really vibrant blue you've got this nice green and then they did the zipper pulls as a pink now this is actually i actually may switch to this for tomorrow so when you look at the website, you know, a lot of times stuff will be male, female. This was under the female stuff, but to me, this is unisex. I mean, it's going to be more geared towards, I guess, women and going to the gym and having something to put all their stuff in. Okay, I'm fascinated by whatever these little stickers are. I don't know if you guys can see them. I guess they're like maybe some sort of sensors or something for moisture. I don't know. So, here it is now. It actually isn't super big. I'm going to see if I can put stuff in it, for, if it can be useful to me for work. I'd use it kind of like a secondary work bag because since it's tote, I can, you know, put it over my shoulder. It's also got these, which it, it's interesting how it does this. So it reuses this handle and it makes it into shoulder straps. So that's honestly probably not going to be super comfy. I wouldn't think, but I didn't realize it was made that way when I was looking at the website. So you got a space here on both sides to put your bottle or whatever if you're going to use it to work out. Or, and normally with my workbook bag, I'd carry a bottle, so this will still work. And then it's got a little kind of pull string bungee here for you to tighten it up to secure it. So what I'm very curious about, and this retails for 79 bucks. But if you can get a coupon, go for it. And I also love to tell people, use Rakuten because you'll earn some cash back. So it actually... It will fit, it looks like a, uh, let me get a little bit closer to the camera. So that's the inside of it, if you can see. So up here you kind of got a mesh mat. Did I say a mesh mat? Mesh net, I said that backwards, thought I did. So you got a little pocket there that you can put stuff in. And then it's got a little section here for a laptop. I'd say this is probably a 13 inch. You may be able to fit a 15 inch in there, but I'm actually gonna try it out. I really kind of, I'm digging the vibe of it. I mean, it's simple. Oh, and it actually the zipper, it's got two zippers, so you can open it from two directions. That's actually kind of nice. I've actually not really seen that utilized on bags, honestly. So you put it on your shoulder, you can go on about your business. So that's that one, that's the Borealis tote. It comes in three colors. You've got this colorway, there's a black one, and then there's like a, a salmon. I say it was a nice little salmon color. To me, this was probably a little bit more gender neutral. Not that it honestly matters nowadays, to be honest with you, but I kind of like the colors of this. I thought it was really nice. And really well made, North Face quality. So this is going to definitely be, I would say, water resistant, if not waterproof, but definitely water resistant based on the material that it's made out of. So you don't have to worry about your stuff getting all soaking wet. So that's that one. This, I think I know what this one is. So let's go ahead and tear it open. Let's see, yep, that's what I thought it was. So, oh wow, this is actually bigger than I thought it was. So, okay, so this is the Berkeley Field bag right here. So let's get it open. And this is actually not for me, or mine rather. 
but gosh, they put a lot of the they put a lot of these little desiccant packages in their stuff. I think they're still falling out. Great goodness, there's another one. They almost look like packets of sugar in the raw, but they're not. So this is the little field bag. So this is kind of nice. You can fit a small laptop, not small laptop, small tablet. So if you've got like a, an iPad Air, it should fit. iPad mini most definitely. Kind of matches that color scheme, which I thought was pretty nice. And bring a little bit closer so you guys can see. So that's kind of nice. I got a different variation of this. Didn't get this one, so I think the other one will actually be here tomorrow that's mine. So, hmm, kind of nice. You can wear it going across like that if you want to. It's got a little handle up there. I'm gonna tighten this back. For sure, for sure, for sure. Let's see, let's go into the back. I'm gonna get in closer for you. You got nice storage back there. And this is really well made. Like, I love the feel of this. It's definitely very, I can be outdoors in this and not have to worry about anything. Oh, wow. Isn't that a nice touch? Yosemite's Half Dome. I think that is super, super cool that they put that there. So you put your tablet in there, put something back there. It's got three sections and it'll expand a little bit. Then you've got that and then that's there so you can actually thread something through there as well. Don't know what, but you can. And then the North Face, Fine Alpine Equipment. So that is the Berkeley field bag because it's for you going out into the field. This is something, I think I know what this is. So they split this order up because I actually had two items. So I guess they had to ship from different places. So this I was actually kind of excited about. Let's see, yeah, that's what we did. They split it up, but that's fine. All right, so this is a wallet, which is apparently the only one they make right now. It's the only one that's on the website. I like a nice accordion situation when it comes to a wallet. It's kind of my thing, my MO, I'd say. So let's get in here. More desk kit packages. Nice. So this is the Voyager. Hmm. So it's got an interesting feel. I don't think I've had a wallet that has felt like this before. It's definitely waterproof. I wouldn't say this water is it's waterproof. I mean, maybe all except the zipper. Huh. So I'll come in a little bit closer. I like the color. It's kind of, it's giving me like lavender vibes or lilac, whatever you want to say. So it's got a space in there for you to put your cash, your cards, money. It's got a little zipper compartment here. It's right there. But the main reason that I really like this is it has a spot to put an air tag in it. So I'm guessing that's what this little cut out here is this little slit yeah it is so you can just slide your little your tracker tag in there so it should fit an air tag so that I'm pretty excited about because losing your wallet is no fun and this would be sufficient and for someone like me I tend to carry my life <laughs> in a wallet as far as like every car that I own so I think this will be really nice I've actually recently switched to um it's a little van wallet situation which I'll have to show you guys in another video because I got some new vans bags as well but I actually think I'm gonna like this. The feel's gonna take some getting used to. I'm kinda of worried if you put it in denim or something, if it's, the color's gonna rub off on it because of it being this light of a color, but we'll see. Hopefully not. So that's all the stuff right now that I've gotten from the North Face right there. This is some stuff that I've gotten from Finish Line and actually some of it, as you'll see, will also be North Face. This I already know what it is. I think without even really taking it out. And I got another one yesterday, which I meant to grab, and I may go grab, but was doing some shopping on there, and those of you that like to use Klarna, Klarna or Afterpay, it can be a handy thing as long as you use it responsibly and pay it right off. This is just a little knit cap, this is a little Timberland knit hat. A lot of this winter stuff is on sale right now, of course, because of the season, so they're trying to get rid of a lot of that inventory. So this is a little simple Timberland hat. With, this is actually a let this is act this patch is actually leather which is pretty impressive but I would expect no less from Timberland so that's the hat but the piece de resistance is going to be in here and I'm really really curious with what this looks like and how big it is because I also got one for myself which I think so there'll be a second video there'll be a part two of this should be tomorrow hopefully if everything arrives on time all right so and this is North Face land, again, like I was telling you guys. So some more North Face. 
So this is a, the Berkeley crossbody. So this is the crossbody. This is also a Berkeley, but this is the field bag. They have two different versions of it. So this is the crossbody, and it's actually huge. This is a lot bigger than I thought it was. Wow, this is, I mean, honestly, it's a little bit shorter than that, but it's actually pretty damn massive. I don't know how I feel about this. This is bigger than what I expected it to be. So these retail for about $40, and they come in a couple different color variations. And the styling's pretty much the same as the other Berkley that I showed you. Oh, this is nice. This is actually lined with some fleece. I really, I'm digging that. So front compartment, we got this inner compartment. Since it's smaller, they gave you, you know, the little drop your stuff down there. And it doesn't have that pocket on the back. So you're only going to have two different storage areas on this. But look at this thing. Just a side view. It's going to expand out pretty big. I don't know now. I was The size is actually bigger than what I had expected it to be. So I don't know. I mean, I can still probably carry it daily. I mean, honestly, you can definitely get it like an iPad mini in here if you got a Kindle, you know, an Amazon Fire tablet, anything like that. If it's a small one, it'll definitely fit here. And, <coughs> excuse me, same material, durable. This is going to be waterproof, water resistant. Eh, well. I'd probably say this is the kind of raincoat material, so I would say it's probably going to be waterproof. Maybe more along the realms of water resistant, but it would definitely dry quickly if it did happen to get soaked. So this is the last thing, and this I'm kind of excited about because I also got one for myself. This isn't mine. So this is the Fuse Box Backpack. It comes in a couple different sizes. I think they did small, medium, and large. You really only right now can find probably medium and larges in this. And I think this thing is 70 liters, if I'm not mistaken. And I know that because I was looking up a lot of stuff about it. So this is this. This is definitely waterproof. And oh, it's upside down. So it's actually pretty big, I can tell, and it's going to have some expansion to it. So this retails for about $100. I won't say about $100, $99, so you can be looking at like $110 probably with taxes, depending on where you are, $105, $107. So this is this guy, and I'm just kind of checking it out. I mean, it's a very simplistic style to it. So this is the back, you got your straps, they're plenty padded. You've got this to kind of secure it, some book bags do use that. And you've got... Down here, oh, this is not stores. This is actually to expand it out. That's good to know. So, huh. wait a minute. Never mind. I take that back. So that is storage. So I think when I was looking this up, you could put a water bottle in here. That's what that's made for. And then you can carry it as a tote if you want to. This snaps, and this is actually a really, really nice snap. And you probably can't see the writing on it, but it's got the North Face. And it's got a little. I guess I would say that's, oh, it's the mountain from the logo. All right, let's open that. It's, to me, a lot of times it's about the nice little small touches that stuff like this is given. So you've got some storage up here. You can put your sunglasses. I'm going to use mine once I get it as, as, a, as a work bag. So slightly different use. And then laptop space here. This will probably fit a 15-inch. And it's kind of deep, so you got some space in there. So it'll, it's, there's some give to it, so it will definitely flex and allow you to put some other stuff in there. But that's it. It's, it's North Face Day, I guess. We've had a bunch of North Face items that I've been sharing with you guys. So I'm going to cut this short because my battery is actually about to die on my camera, and I don't want it to cut off mid-sentence. If you have not done so already, do not forget to subscribe to my channel. Thumbs up and comment. I love having conversations with you guys. You guys are great. So... Definitely tune in for part two of this video. It should be up hopefully tomorrow. This one will be uploaded as soon as I'm done. I appreciate all the support. I think you guys are awesome. This is why I do it. I love to share what I like and things that I'm interested in. And since, honestly, I shop probably more than I should, why not do it here? Until next time, Universe Jarvis out.